Hey, what's up, guys? Nick here. I'm here with Nathan as well. We are heading down the road. Thought I'd fill you in on what we're doing today. Okay, so if you've been following us for a little while, you've known that we are the family behind the NC Connect, the world's best mobile internet device. And you're probably thinking, well, Nick, how, how do you know it's the best? We've gone places to do a lot of testing and to, you know, figure out how the NC Connect can work the best in almost every situation. Because like I've said before, there are no two places that are the same when it comes to like internet on the road. That being said, because we've been on the road a lot, because I do a lot of testing and everything, we decided to get a new camper that is specific for testing and for when I go on the road with the boys. You probably saw we already bought a new camper for our family. That was overdue, super happy with it and everything. Uh, and it works great for our family. But when we're out and about, when, when the boys and I went to Arizona last year and we hauled the Rockwood with us, uh, there was a lot of places where I thought, you know, this, I, I'd love to be a little bit more nimble when we're out on the road so I can go to places and do testing there and not necessarily camp there, but like just be there for a little bit and um, set up shop and do a bunch of testing, take a bunch of reports and all of that, and then be on our way. It would be cool to have just a simple camper that we could take somewhere and just pull over and then just go hop into it and use it. And then, you know, when we're done, just keep going down the road. And so with this, in this business of NC Connect and getting internet on the road, uh, there's just a lot of things you have to test for because things are changing all the time. Uh, especially with the 5G, new 5G bands are coming out. So it's, it takes a lot of time and effort. So one of the things I wanna do is get some NC Connect stickers so we could put on there. And so when we're all hauling it around and you see that has like four NC Connects on the top, people will see, oh yeah, this is this is the NC Connect rig. We're gonna have to come up with a name with for it, okay? But yeah, Connect, Connect Pod. What do you think? What kind of name should we name the little camper? If you come up with a name, drop it in the in the comments. Love to hear that, what you would come up with. So we're heading down to Jackson, Tennessee. We came down here a couple weeks back and they had some pretty good prices on camper. Yeah, let's keep going. All right, let me bring you in. So I think we would take this off because if you notice our shirts, they have the mountains on them with the NC Connect right in. So I think what we do is put one like just right here, an NC Connect. Just right off the mountains. We'll see how it goes. We'll take this off. All of this. Take that off up there. Oh, oh and on the back. On Big the back. NC Connect right, right there. Alright, so we decided to go with the Keystone Bullet. So let me show you around. Okay, let's go. Let's show them. Yeah, let's. No, right here. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. So this is the one that we went with. I'm just kidding. This is not the Keystone book. Look at this thing. I Unbelievable. I this was the one we went with. Man, I don't think I could get this for the price. Ha! You only Look wish. at this thing. And then your six for a pickup. So what is this one called? Uh, it's the Columbus. Columbus. Look at this. Elevated kitchen. It's like a galley kitchen. Look at this thing. Burners, oven, sink, microwave. Big old fridge. And then you're up here, you're cooking and everybody's down there hanging out. Hey, how's it going? Go. So yeah, I'll give you a tour of the new Keystone, all right? Let's do it. This is nice. Yeah, Someday. Someday. Ooh, impression. Okay. All right, so here's the one we did decide to go with. Come on over here. It's called the bullet. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get it. Okay, so here we go. Ready, Nate, take them on a tour. Slash living room, slash, slash the bedroom, slash our bedroom, slash everybody's bedroom, the bathroom, bathroom. bunks. Okay. And then where's the TV? The TV goes up here. TV mounts right here. This will work good. It'll work. I think it'll work. Yes. If we find it, we could go. We could see if we could find a nice little ten-inch TV. So here's my plan with this one. Okay. The dinette whole thing comes out just comes out we're gonna put a couple uh either chairs or like beanbag chairs boom 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 in this oh, spot bean bags. yes yeah we i saw some at walmart bags. 35 bucks the little beanbag things look nice so we're gonna have them in this spot 
I'm gonna build a wall that probably comes out to about here-ish. And this wall on this side is gonna have my working space. I'm gonna cut this bed probably about this line right here so that there's an opening right here. It's gonna be easy to do. This is one of the reasons why I chose this one because if you look under the bed, it's already open like that. So I just take that structure off, cut the bed down. I have a little shelf on that side for like 3D printers. And then uh, right back here on this side will be the uh, computer. And then I think, where's the wine guard thing at? Oh, it's right here. So I think what we'll do is if I could build the wall up to here, I can cut the wine guard out, pop something up, and we'll put all my wires up there. So I'm gonna have more wires than most people will going up there because I think I'll have three or four units on the roof at a time to do multiple providers and all that stuff. This one has more storage than the Coleman does. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit more. We don't have the storage under there. But, we but if we look, check it out. Since this is our camper now, since we bought it, I'll show you what I did. I kind of broke it. Here, you hold this up, please. I pulled on this a little bit and it came up, pop. Like, look at all that space in there. There is, you know, a water, water heater, heater, but. But look over there. Yeah, lots of space over there for outside. We can take the wall out. We can get at stuff in here. We can put stuff in there. So not bad. Um, a lot more counter space right here which not a huge deal for me but uh so Ted, is this our camper now? when you have a small camper with no slides and single axle you know not a lot of weight you're pretty nimble you can pretty go pretty much anywhere and so that's what we're going to count on Ooh, another thing that sold me on this was the uh, power stabilizer jacks now it's not it's not auto stabilizer like the cougar but it's power. And I'll say, Nathan, can you put the stabilizers down? What are you going to say? Uh, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're pretty set. Got insurance. All right, good morning. It is Sunday morning, and we are getting ready to go to church, but I thought first I'm gonna try to take a sticker off this thing. And I think I found the one that I wanna try. Now look at what I've noticed. This black one. Are we gonna keep the swooshes? Should we keep the swooshes? Oh, no. Oh, wait, what was this? I've got one. Dead, dead, dead. We got a heat gun. Are you crunching? <laughs> what are you eating? Don't miss squares. Don't miss squares. Okay, here we go, here we go. Should I go for the bullet or for the crossfire now? Ready? What do you think? You know, this Stay big. That's too big. Yeah. That's you too think? big. Oh. Oh, we just got this here yesterday, but I'm already so used to it. All right, this one might come somewhere. Where should we put it? I, I think that I think that we should put it right here. But first, we have to wipe this off. All right. Well, go find something to wipe it off with. Okay. All right. Wipe it off with JJ. Hey. Give me a smile. <laughs> I think I think. All right, here. Be... Buff it out a little bit more. Right in here. Like put some elbow grease into it, huh? Yeah, there you go. All right, so I put it on a little crooked. But it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. What's it going? Hey, welcome to Lowe's. We're gonna make a desk for the camper. We're calling it the, the IMHQ. Insti Mobile Headquarters. Okay. That's what we're calling it. How do you like it? Good? So here's what I'm using to make this desk, okay? Right now, wood is kind of expensive. So this is like 12 bucks a board. So I'm gonna buy three for two uprights and then a couple go across. And then we need one for my working area. So I think what I'm gonna do is choose this one. for my. This is the actual desk part. What do you think? Should I pick this one or one a little wider? Uh, I don't know. What's the one next one? A little wider. A little wider, says Lo Joe. What do we got? This is $22. Okay, so let me show you real quick what I do. So this, these are the uprights, and then this would be my desk area. I think that would work. It sticks out quite a ways. This, even though, look at it, it's all chewed up. Okay, I'm gonna buy this one, and I'm gonna buy the other one too. All right, these are called furring strips. Sometimes they come in a nice little pack like this. Seem to be pretty good. In our other... That's not our cart, Dad. It's not? Whoops. Thanks. All right, now the last thing we need 
We need a piece of Luan. Do you know what Luan is? No idea. Luan is a piece of very thin plywood that campers love to use. Campers have Luan all over the place. Let's go this way. Is this it? This is it. These guys call it a multi-purpose panel. You can do flooring underlayment, paneling, whatever. But the cool thing is it's very smooth. Okay. Feel that? Don't get any slivers though, because it's kind of slivery on the side. It is 7.30. I don't know when Lowe's closes, but there's hardly anybody here. Usually this place is a zoo. All right, we gotta get to paint. So we brought in this color from the side of the dinette. They're gonna get mixed up. All right, the paint will take 10 minutes. Angle brackets. We need some angle brackets. Three, four, all right, stop wrestling in the store. Okay, now I'm looking for a corner piece. Like this. $26. I can't believe that, Lojo. What are we gonna do? Huh? What are we gonna do about that? Don't break that, Jenna. Jenna's got a debit card now that she's been working for dad. She's got her own bank account. Um, and she's, you know, doing funny stuff in the store. But guess what? If you would've broke that, how much is it? Oh, that's it? $13? Yeah, that looks good. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, so Lowe's, Lowe's has cheap paint at least. Okay, I think we're ready. All right, we're gonna head to the car. I load this into BRV, and I got a whole bunch of my testing stuff. So this is why, see this right here? This box, I got an NC Connect pole right there. Do you see that? Yeah. This was my testing zone. And I have all my stuff, look at all this. Five Gs all over the place. Are you in, Lojo? The plywood will definitely go over your head, Lauren. Here it Let's comes. Move on. Is it? Our van is just barely wide enough. It was. It was twenty-two bucks. It wasn't too bad. There. All right, check it out. Whee! Now we're just gonna leave this in the middle of the parking lot. Probably build the uh, desk tomorrow. Do some painting. How, how's it going, huh? All right, we're heading home. It takes about half hour to get home. So we'll see ya. All right, there we go. The desk is painted and at least set in place. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's a pretty good match. See, very nice. This was an eggshell. I should have got uh, like a semi-gloss, but I think it'll be fine. I think it looks really good, and I think it'll work well for what we're... I think it will, too. So what I was going for was a little bit more space in the camper. So I knew if I put a desk alongside the wall, um, I'd sit back here, um, take up all the space on the wall. I thought if I can make a new wall, I can make a nice little spot. I'll put a board across here. I painted it down there, but I put it across. I will use some of those angle brackets to get it in a good spot. Then I'll hang my monitor on there. That'd be good. But right now we're going to figure out how to mount it, how to screw it into the wall. So here's my thoughts. I'm gonna put some couple screws, boop, 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 into the wall, a couple angle brackets down there to hold it to the floor. And then up here, doo, 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 probably a couple holes directly into the ceiling. And that should give it enough strength to um, not move around while we drive. Now we gotta take a measurement and make sure we're following the same track. It's a touchy subject, okay? Putting holes in your camper. All right, Nate came in with his box. Why don't you tell him all about your box? Okay, so this is my phone box, and I think I'm actually gonna use this slot for my Kindle. Okay. I'm gonna run the cords. From here, this is two, two USB ports. Mm -hmm. Perfect for just running it down there. I'll probably just have my Kindle. Okay, so look at this construction, right? Really good, see that right there? That's actually my fault. I yeah. was the one that cut these boards for them. And so, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I do know how that happened. I don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, good job. What do you think of your first big project? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good too. What'd you call it? Rough carpentry. Rough carpentry, yeah, that's... I do that sometimes. 
rough carpentry. Sometimes yep, you just gotta. You've never done it something oh, that rough. You, get, you just gotta get it done. Thank you for joining us, BTW, by the way. And yeah, we're having fun. At least I am. In the IMHQ, right here, Insti Mobile headquarters. Yo, what's up? Hey, guys. <laughs> That's super cool. Well, hello, Nick here with a live update. We are in Quartzsite for Quartzsite 2022, one of the biggest RV shows in the country. NC Connect is going to be a vendor here at the show. And so this is exactly why we got the IMHQ. So we're here with it. And I thought I would take you just on a quick tour of what it actually looks like when we're using the IMHQ when we're out on tour, All right? So come on in, let's see what's going on inside. Hey Luke, how's it going? Good. What are you eating there? This is some ham steaks that Nathan has perfected. Hey, nice job, buddy. Look at that. All right. So Nathan's cooking us some lunch right here with some ham steaks. Mama really hooks us up and gets us stuff that's easy to cook, so we can have some uh, pretty yummy stuff on the road. If so go. If you guys ever do a tour on your business, I recommend taking ham steaks. Ham steaks, right? Because they cook in like. Second. No time. All right, so we have the galley area, of course. A nice two burner stove with a big sink full of bottles and stuff. <laughs> and over here, this is where the boys are. Check this out, right? See this? Nathan loves to shop. There was a bunch of flea market stuff, and he's like, Dad, I have some Christmas money. I want to get this RC helicopter. Check it out. Dude, this thing is amazing. There's the, he's up there, Luke's down there. It's good. We got a nice sized bathroom that works just fine. It's tiny. Right? Yeah. Fridge, propane fridge, very important for being out here. We're out in the desert. We're gonna be here a few days before that rally starts. So we wanted to make sure uh, we have lots of power. We have our kind of sitting area. You'll notice that we removed the whole dinette. So we have a couple chairs there. We took the, the table, slid it all the way over so we could store stuff underneath. And then that way we still have a table. We have a couple stools we could sit around, eat at the table if we want to, need to. Um, then my work area is right here. You can see I got my laptop hooked up to the screen, keyboard and everything. And we got four Insta Connects going all the way across. A lot of times when we're on the road, we test uh, pretty much all four providers at one time to see which one works the best. Uh, right now we're running AT&T and it's working great here in uh, Quartzsite. And uh, I will be sharing a whole video on how we're able to get decent internet here when we're at Quartzsite because there's thousands of people over there just gobbling up cell towers. There is a trick that you can do and I'll share that in a whole different video. Um, we have a set of wings here that I just hang there as I'm testing and I could swap them out really quickly. We got a printer for if we need to print anything off when we're at the booth. We're actually going to be in the midway with the camper. The best thing is that we'll be able to escape the rally whenever me and Nathan feel like it. That was kind of my thought with, with bringing the IMHQ and having it as our booth. The boys can come in and do school. They can, you know, play some games, whatever, kind of hang out in their spot here instead of having to sit at the booth the whole time. We uh, really turned the IMHQ into something that uh, is pretty nice to have on the road. There's so much that I want to share with you. Uh, we took this out in November and we went over to Big Bend and we had a wonderful time there and we did a lot of testing on the road with the 5G very specifically. And the 5G and that trip is how we came up with the 5G binoculars. I don't know if you could see them out there, but we have a brand new 5G binoculars. It's a four times MIMO directional antenna that we're using. And if you could see it, it's just impressive and it works super, super well. So we love taking the IMHQ out on the road to test and do different things with, and we've really outfitted it to allow us to be out here and do a lot of stuff. So let me take you up on the roof and show you what we've done solar wise to this thing. We have 925 watts of solar here. You can see the four entity connects right there. We got a whole bunch of wires coming up here from down below so that we can run all types of equipment. We have a 24 volt solar system on here, 
200 amp hour battery that is right in that box right there with a grow watt inverter it's an inverter charger we can run the air conditioning on it it's 3000 watts we also have the the 12 volt system on here just in case we actually needed that when we were in big bend we ran our battery all the way dead and then we said oh no we're not gonna have any heat but we just fired up that secondary battery as our backup and then we had heat still had propane and everything so this has definitely served its purpose and we're really excited to have it and really excited to uh, be able to bring it out and just travel so much lighter with it we have it hooked up to our van pretty much all the time and then whenever we need to go somewhere we just take it with us we have all our testing equipment everything all our food all of that stuff with us and it works really really well i'm super happy with how it uh, looked super happy with how the stickers turned out and everything and uh, we are really excited and having a lot of fun here at Quartzsite. And I'll just leave you with this. We have a little sneak peek of what we're going to be talking about in the next video, which are these three things right here, our e-scooters. They are super cool to have here in Quartzsite. But anyway, I really appreciate you stopping by and watching this video. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be glad to help. Thanks so much. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon.